Hey, what's up guys? Weekly Light here, and today I'm going to be covering another team guide for pit people. So this team was submitted by Polygon Studios a couple weeks back, and they, su they suggested, quote, I run human, net, and light ninja sword, no helmet, human, regular mallet, large shield, human, hero, large sword, large shield, zombies times four, and finally a vampirist. This is a rush team that swarms the enemy and surrounds high priority targets and then the vampires finishes them off. The two large shield users are for dealing with range and the net human has an extremely high dodge chance thanks to his ninja sword. End quote. So I took the liberty and I remade his team and I tried it, or his or her team, sorry. Um, and... Uh, so there was no specification for the helmets on two of the humans and the zombie. So I went with no helmet for each of the humans. And then I went with um, the, oh my god, the third, the third tier helmet. I forgot what it's called. You can figure it out from the video. Um, anyway, so I used that and I ran it in the pit. I used auto battler because I don't know how um, this user wanted the team to be used. So I just let the computer decide. Uh, the team seemed to work pretty well. Uh, one problem I might think of is that there is such a large number of uh, units that it might be hard to move them all and to optimize their movements each turn. But then again, Auto Battler handles that pretty well. Um, there's also very little sustain. So like the zombies have res, but besides that, nothing can heal. Oh, wait, the vampire gets life steal. Uh, but besides that, nothing can heal. So once your humans start taking damage, there's no way they can get them back if you're playing another person. So I would say that this team is probably meant for unfair challenge because then you could rely on the level up bonuses to heal. The four zombies work pretty good as expected because of how good zombies are. And they seem to um, always be there to overwhelm and slow opponents. I have to say that the combo of the slow with the zombie plus the vampire's extreme movement range makes it easy for the for the uh, vampire to chain from tar low health target to low health target. Um, I don't feel that the humans were too necessary in this build, and um, they sort of felt useless if you weren't playing against ranged units. Also, the rainbow horse, since it targets far away targets first, wouldn't be stopped by the blockers either. So, um, unless there's arrows, then I would say that you wouldn't need the humans. Also, um... The fact that there's a net on the team also helps because now you can use it as a recruiting team. Um, there is only one net though, so you have to be careful to keep that uh, player alive. But besides that, it could work out in the wild. Um, I would still recommend my uh, recruiting auto battler team over this one, just because uh, the chances of all three of the uh, recruiters going down is so slim. This team seems to be a jack-of-all-trades team, as it seems to be able to fit into all the different um, places in the game, such as Unfair Challenge, or Person vs. Person, or um, Out in the Wild, but I would say that it doesn't do any of them extremely well. Uh, it just does them all some pretty good, so I'd give it maybe like 7 out of 10 in all the fields. Uh, if you want to use this team, and you want to modify it, I would recommend swapping out one of the blocker humans, because I think two blocker humans might be a little overkill. Um, I would recommend maybe a cupcake for healing, or maybe uh, something to deal more damage like a rainbow horse if you want to gamble with that. I would uh, like to thank uh, Polygon Studios for submitting a team idea, and if anyone else would like to submit a team idea, just leave it down in the comments and I will try to cover it in a video coming up. Uh, Thank you for watching, and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.
Hezbollah! Didn't see that one coming. <laughs> <laughs> 